Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be designing the camp shot. Then let's begin. So for designing the camp shot, first we need to make a triangle. Triangle could be of any rough measurement like you want. We'll set it in the other time. Now we'll try to add some relation to this angle. We'll go to display and relations and we'll try to set a relation between all three lines present here. Taking the relations, we'll try to take them equal to each other. So when we apply this relation, all the lines become equal to each other. Now, moving on, we'll set the dimension of the triangle that we are going to make. So first of all, we'll go to the dimensions tab and select dimension. After selecting dimensions, we'll try to set the dimension of the complete line to around 95 mm. Now after clearing the dimensions for 95 mm, I'll use the fillet command and then fillet the edges of the triangle. Remember that after filleting the edges, there would be a change in the dimension and you need to take care of it. After I fillet this, then there will be a change in the dimension. To set the dimension, I'll need to remove the point present here and then add another point on the surface of the triangle. Like I have done here. Now. After, after removing the point, I'll add a point at the top and the bottom of the triangle. After adding the bottom of the triangle, I'll set the same dimension that I tried to set on the earlier triangle. I'll change it to 95 mm. Now after changing it to 95 mm, I'll use the extrude feature. So once the part is ready, we'll just select one plane side of the part. Now after selecting one plane side of the part, I'll try to draw a circle. Now I'll go to the circle command and draw a circle of around 45 mm of diameter. After setting it, I'll extrude the circle. After extruding the circle, I'll select another plane on the other side of the part and now I'll draw another circle. But before drawing the circle, I'll just select a line from the top to the midpoint of the triangle. After that line has been made, now I'll take another line to the two sides of the triangle so that I'm not mistaken with the reference of my circle. After drawing the other line from the other side of the triangle, I'll draw the circle at the midpoints of these two lines. Now I'll draw a circle of around 35 mm to the midpoints of the line. So once the extruding is done, I'll select the reference geometry line. Then I'll select one part of the triangular part and the other part of the rod. After selecting that, I'll use the mirror feature that we'll find in the feature and mirror these both components to the other side. And now we have our shaft ready. Soon I'll be completing the complete assembly in the engine series. So stay tuned. 